Hello everyone. Welcome to Ginger Street Boutique. Hope you all are having a great day. My name is Sheila and in this video um, I would like to share with you today this cute little baker's box. And I made this project to hold one of my little pumpkin pie slices that I've made um, which holds um, 10 Werther's Caramel Hard Candies inside and you can actually put whatever kind of gift you'd like um, but these are my little pumpkin pie slices and this is what it all looks like when it's put together let me zoom out see yeah, it's already zoomed out um, all these pieces I've already put into these little boxes some of them but these are the ones I have left that I still need to package up um, but anyways, so we are going to make this project today. So if you would like to um, make this project along with me, I'm going to go ahead and list all the supplies that we are going to need um, to make this project. And you'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a bone folder. You'll need a scoring a scoring board tool, some glue, and a piece of whisper white paper measuring nine and one eighths inches this way and twelve inches this way. Okay, so those are all the materials that you will need to make this project. If you would like to just um, watch and do the project later, then Go ahead and pause the video now and go get your coffee or your tea and a little snack. Sit back, relax, and then you can rewind this whenever you're ready to do the project later on. Okay? So pause the video, get your materials, or go get your little snack and tea and coffee, and I will see you in just a moment. Okay. Now we are back. <laughs> Um, I think I was back a little bit faster than you, but <laughs> so here is the nine and one eighths by twelve inches on this side here. Okay, that I'm using the Whisper White cardstock. You can use whatever color of cardstock that you would like. Um, then you are going to need your scoring tool, and on your nine and one eighths inch side we're going to put it on the score tool this way okay and we're going to score at two and a quarter all the way down and then we're going to score at six and seven eighths all the way down and then we're going to turn it over on the twelve inch side okay so it's twelve inches now and we're going to score again at two and a quarter five and a quarter, seven and a half, and then ten and a half. Okay? And then we're going to set the scoring tool aside. And this is when you're going to need your scissors, okay? So I'm going to get my sample one out here so that I can show you exactly what we just did because I know it was probably a little difficult for you to see all the score lines on this white paper. So what we did was all the way down at two and a quarter was this score line here, okay? And then over here was the six and seven eighths score line over here, all right? Then we turned our paper this way in the scoring tool. And we scored at two and a quarter here, so this is the score line here. And then we scored at five and a quarter here, and then seven and a half, and then this was our ten, ten and a half one. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put the end with the ten and a half score line up here. We're going to put that at the top of our table. That is going to be the little flap of our box. So it's going to, this is, that's this piece right here of our box. Now, 
what we're going to do right here, this corner, we are going to cut out this corner. And so you'll follow the little score lines that come down here. That's your um, six and seven eight score line. We're going to follow that down to our ten and a half score line right here. And we're going to cut that corner out. And the same over here. Follow the two and a quarter line all the way down to the ten and a half score line. And we're going to cut that corner out as well. Then on each of these sides over here, we are going to cut up each of these score lines to make each of these little flaps right here that you see on the sides. And we're going to do that on both sides, okay? So we're only going to cut the score lines up to our two and a quarter and our six and seven eighths lines, all right? So I'm going to set that back aside over here. And then I'm going to cut these and I'll show you um, how I do, if you, after I cut um, a couple of these, you can see what I'm doing. Then you can go ahead and fast forward it if you wish. Skip over all of this part. It doesn't really take too long, but I really don't know how to. Um, my camera doesn't allow me to pause it. And I don't know how to fast forward or anything. So without erasing anything. Okay, so we got those two pieces cut out. Now we're going to miter these corners in just a little bit on either side. See, so then it should look just like that. All right, now we're going to turn it to the side and we're going to cut up each one of these little slices on the side. And just follow your score line up. all the way. There we go. And follow this one up. I probably don't cut as fast as some of you, but You get the idea, okay? So then on these two flaps up here, closest to the, the flap for the front, these two are the pieces that are going to fold inside of your box. So we want to miter this bottom piece right here just a little bit in, okay, just like that, just a little slice. And then this one, we're going to want to miter it in quite a bit because we want it to be able to slide right into the box real easy, okay? And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Just a little one on the bottom. Oops, maybe just a little more. Okay, there we go. And then a big slice over here. All right, get that a little bit too late. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is with this one, we're gonna slice it on this side on the bottom half of it just like that and then on this flap right here we're only going to miter the top half okay there we go this flap miter the top this flap miter the bottom Just a little bit. Okay, so then it should look just like that when you're all done with it. Now we'll get rid of all these scraps. And now we're done with our scissors. Now you're going to need your bone folder. Okay, so turn it over. And then I go down the middle first. Fold all these ones. Oops. And burnish all of the score lines. So you're just folding on the score lines here, okay? Then you take it over to your side and take each of these sides and fold all of these in and then burnish down the side and then fold all these in on this one and burnish down that side. 
Okay, so it should look just like this now, okay? Now you're going to fold out these two flaps. These ones you're going to fold in. These ones you're going to fold in, and you're going to fold these two out, okay? Now, these two, these four actually, are the only ones that you're going to put glue on, all right? So we'll start with these two first. And just put a little bit of glue on here. You don't want too much. You don't want it seeping out the sides. Um, it'll get the inside of your box all sticky, and then whatever you put in there, it's going to stick to it. So you don't want it to be sticky. Now, when we glue this together, we're going to match this corner right here where it folds and this edge right here, okay? So when we bring it up, we're going to make it flush just like that and fold it. So see, it's flush right here on the corner. They're matched up. All right. And then you're just going to press it in place. Then we're going to go to this side again, this corner here and this edge here. We're going to match up. See, we're just matching those up. Making sure they're flush with one another. Don't want any out overlapping. And then press it in place. Then I take my bone folder and then I just go back in and I flush it in. Or you can just use your fingers if you wish, but I like doing this just to make sure that it stays in there. Okay, see, so you're starting to get your little box shape. Now these two pieces right here, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put glue on these. Just a little sprinkling on there. And then this one, just a little sprinkling. Just want it to hold it in place. And then once again, this corner right here where the flap is and then this edge of the, the paper right here. We're going to match those two up. And I like to use this Tombow liquid glue, or pretty much any liquid glue, but I, I use the Tombow liquid um, because it seems to hold a little better, and plus it gives you a little wiggle room. So if you have to move the paper around or slide it, you've got a couple of seconds before it actually sticks down permanently, so you can slide your, your paper around if you need to. Okay, press those in place, and then go back and even it out with your bone folder and there you go here's your box isn't that cute real simple okay then this is where you take these little flaps right here and these are going to go inside your box okay and then here's your little front flap so there you go there's your box and now we can put our little slice of pie into our box and see how it fits perfectly perfect in that little box okay and then we will put oops, that bow sticking in the way come on there we go all right all right so there's our little box and now what we're going to do is put our baker's twin on And then tie our. Actually, we might need a little bit more on this side. Just a tad. So we can make a nice little bow on here. And you don't have to make a bow, you can just tie a knot if you wanted to, but I like my little bow. Okay, there we go. And I'll tie it in a knot to start with so I can make sure it stays in place. Yeah. There we go. 
and then you can tie your little bow on there. Oh, sorry, it's getting that out of frame. And there's your bow. Take your scissors. Cut off the axis or excess. Sorry about that. There you go. And there's your little box. And it's got our little pumpkin pie slice in there. So quick and easy. Um, and now I will have um, all the measurements and materials and where you can purchase all, all, all the products and stuff um, listed down below. So no worries there. You'll have everything that you need. Um, I'd just like to thank you for um, watching my video today. And um, I'd appreciate it greatly if you could give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And be sure to subscribe um, and hit the little um, bell up in the right-hand corner so that as soon as I make a video and post it, you will be notified. Uh, let's see. Oh, and if you have any questions, suggestions, or requests, um, please leave them in, in the comment below or in the comment section below. Um, I always do love hearing from all of you and um, I will respond to you as soon as I can, usually within 24 hours. Um, so if you want to also email me, you can. Um, my email address is uh, gingerstreetboutique at gmail.com or um, Sheila at gingerstreetboutique.com. So you can reach me at either of those areas. And uh, let's see. And as I said, all the links to purchase all the materials. And um, if I have any, um, actually, no, I don't. I don't. Well, no, I don't. Um, anyways, so if um, you'd like to purchase any of these materials, um, all the products that I got that I used here, my um, scoreboard is stamping up, my paper is stamping up, and my scoring tool or my bone folder here is stamping up. Tombow glue is stamping up, so you can always get those at my stamping up shop. And um, the Baker's Twine, I am not sure where I got that. I might have gotten that at Michael's a few years ago. But um, you can use any color. Um, I also have uh, different Stampin' Up! colors of um, Baker's Twine. So you can even go to my shop there and get the different um, Baker's Twine on there. So all that will be listed below. And the measurements for this little box will be listed down below. So anyway, thank you, and um, I appreciate you stopping by. Take care. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.